uh, fill an object with a material without changing the poly paint information. Uh, but yeah, so I think I'm doing the oh bloody hell! Just give the chin up, Jesus Christ! It's not going to work. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing much. Oof. Yeah, as you can see there by the spikes. Uh, this is after I did the geometry thing. I actually tucked the geometry in a bit, and now yeah, I'm just giving some random gray, gray brownish color to the um, chains, and I'm calling it done now. Basically, the chains. I don't have to give too much detail on those. Um, am I going to do the spikes? This this part? Oh Christ! I went over my time limit. Okay, I'm just going to keep it like that. Oh, uh, uh, anything? I'm actually rendering this out now, which is yeah. Just look. I'm. Just, I just want to look at how it looks rendered out. So yeah. Uh, uh I'm. Am I going to text you the spikes? I am. I'd like to say. It'd be fun to know if I am. <laughs> what am I doing? Jesus Christ. Yeah, the, the, it it has come to the point in this tutorial where I where I just think what the fuck and I don't remember what I'm doing. But yeah, uh, so quiet time. I okay. I'm I'm actually doing some geometry work. I, I, my idea was that I would cut out all the um, manual geometry sculpting, but I guess not. Oh right, this is this part. Oh, I see. I see. This is this part. I tried to add some sort of really, really weird scoring on the back there, which... Uh, scores are massively overdone in 3D characters. As you can see, it looks very weird, but I mean, it doesn't work. And I, I, I want it to work so badly, I, I tried desperately to get it to work. Uh, but alas, I mean, that looks kind of cool right there, but it doesn't work. As I said, it doesn't just... No, don't... I waste a lot of time on this part even. It's it just looks weird that it just looks silly, honestly. Uh but I mean it's a good way of showing how to use the Damien standard brush to make sort of dents and stuff in skin. Uh it works quite well. I, I don't usually do too much of those things, but I mean I, I thought it worked quite well. Uh adding some red just to see how it looks. Um and I'm going to undo all of this later on, so I mean it's not nothing too serious. Uh, just trying it out. It doesn't work at all. It just looks weird. I think I, I think I realized that by now, and I undo all the parts. Yeah, I undo here. Uh, we're back to where we was at first, and uh, I think I'm going to text in the bloody spikes now. Am I? No, I'm going to. What am I going to do now? Oh Christ! Uh, I I am checking my topology, and I'm I keep this in the video. I'm not sure why. Uh, but yeah, I'm just checking the topology to see that it still works, even though I add some new things. It still functions. And, uh... Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm saving. Saving. I, I don't need to tell you that, but I mean, if you didn't realize that I was saving, guess what? I was saving. Uh... I mean, I, I really need to start doing the bloody spikes. I know, I know it's coming up soon, but... Uh, okay, so what's up? What's up? I don't know what's up. Uh, oh, that's a large sphere there. I think I'm just looking around the model, seeing what I want to do here. I think I have some sort of mental breakdown or something. I'm not doing any work, just keeping the cord on. Oh, right, I'm actually doing the uh, straps now with the uh, strings. Not Nothing too amazing here going on, really. I'm just doing exactly what I did before with the uh, objects and, um, you know... I'm not putting much effort into these because these are extremely small and they don't take up any space at all barely and I mean I they don't need a lot of, a lot of attention uh, I just wanted them to match uh, the uh, yeah that's basically all I'm going to do here I'm just going to add some quick uh, oh right I'm actually adding some surface detail to these things which is odd but yeah so that that's pretty much all I'm doing here uh now I am going to what am I doing still working on those no they're done okay yeah they're done um so what's that oh I'm actually doing the feet now aren't I yeah I think I'm doing the uh, sandals fancy I'm doing the sandals um the top scene, and uh, this is, yeah, guess what, I'm using the same texture again, uh, yeah, so, uh, this part, I mean, I, I didn't speed this part up as much, because I'm doing some different things in this, uh, nothing much, 
you'll see when you when we get to it. Uh, going in with these same textures again, just to get everything matched up. Uh, these some colors, amazing color to this, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Going in and doing some weird things with the material. Oh yeah, darkening up the edges here because this is a flat plane, and I want to dark. I want it to look 3D, so I darken up the edges and add some highlights, which is a good way to you know do that. Here even I'm going to add some surface detail. I think yeah, I'm doing some surface stuff and just get it looking more like clothing. Well, not, not clothing, cloth, I guess. Make it look more like cloth, and um, I think it looks quite decent, honestly. Uh, uh, with those things, I'm actually adding a lot of detail uh, on the edges of them, uh, just to make them sort of look worn, because these are probably very old and stuff like that. As you can see here, I'm doing some uh, quick, you know, kind of riff-raff stuff on the uh, geometry side. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, around the edges and smoothing it out. Uh, which I think looks good because it looks like it's been stretched and kind of retracted, which looks good. Uh, yeah, I think that's actually all I'm going to do with those. So, all right, I'm going to have a slight bit of color, I think, here or something like that, darkening up the edges even more. Christ, yeah, a lot of darkness. Um, they end up looking quite good, as I think. Not amazingly sexy or anything, but I mean, they look decent enough. Decent enough. Uh, sandals, soles here, which uh, these are going to be the epitome of simple. Um, because, I mean, they are soles. What kind of detail can you have? Uh, just adding some different uh, colors on there. I mean, I'm not going to do much. It's just basically onto me one color. Uh, we're actually reaching the end of this part, which I... I will list this audio recording as being for, for like two parts. But yes, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.